Hi everyone, this is Lakshman. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's session, I am going to share you the most common Java collections entry questions and answers for freshers as well as experienced candidates for Java developers at the same time for automation testing engineers. So without wasting our time, let's see one by one. The first question is how to convert the array of string into array list. So in fact, uh, in the collection framework, there are two utility class are there, collections and arrays. So by using arrays utility class, we can convert array of string to array list. So let us see one example here. So this is the string array. This statement represents string array declaration. So by using arrays utility class, we are converting array of string into array list. See here, arrays utility class dot as list method by using as list method and you are passing the this reference string array reference here as a parameter. So after that, you have to iterate over the list. So this is the way we can convert string of array into array list by using arrays utility class and as list method. The next question is how to make a collection a thread safe? In general, collections are not synchronized and thread safe. So to make collection synchronized and thread safe, we have to use like this collections dot synchronized list and we are passing the parameter list collection okay for set for set collection we are passing like this collections dot synchronized set and we are passing set for map like this okay next the next question is how to avoid concurrent modification exception while iterating a collection so to avoid concurrent modification exception you have to follow these options so if you are using jdk 5 version or higher then you can use concurrent hash map and copy and write array list classes it is highly recommended approach then you can convert the list into an array and then iterate on the array okay these are the best options to avoid concurrent modification exception while iterating a collection for example, if you are using a list, you can use list iterator. Suppose if you are using old collection, that means vector, then you can use enumeration. The next question is, what is unsupported operation exception? Generally, this exception throws on invoked methods which are not supported by actual collection type. For example, if you make a read-only list using collections dot unmodifiable list and you are trying to add or remove method then it definitely throw unsupported operation exception okay the next question is what is the difference between list and set list allows to store duplicate elements in java whereas set does not allow to store duplicate elements in java list is ordered collection that means it maintains the insertion order whereas set implementation does not maintain insertion order. List allows to store many null, null keys in Java, but set implementation allows only one null in Java. Okay. The next question is, how many ways are there to store string data in Java? So there are four ways are there to store string data. So using character array, using string class, using string buffer class, and using string builder class, we can store the string data in Java program. The next question is, what is the difference between stream and collections? So this is one of the latest entry questions from collections from Java 8 version onwards. Generally, collections are used to store and group the data in a particular data structures like list to set map. But streams are used to perform complex data processing operation like uh, matching, filtering, mapping, etc. on stored data. 
such as arrays, collections, or input-output resources. That means collections are mainly about data and streams are mainly about operations on data. Okay. And one more difference, you can, uh, you can add or remove elements from the collections, but you cannot add or remove elements from the streams. So the main specialty of Java 8 streams is that you need not to worry about iteration while using streams. So streams perform iteration internally behind the scene. On the other hand, you have to do iteration externally over the collections using loops. So examples for collections, list set map. And for streams, filtering, mapping, and matching. The next question is, what will be the problem if you do not override hash code method? Some collections like hash set, hash map, or hash table use the hash code value of an object to find out how the object would be stored in the collection. And subsequently, hash code is used to help locate the object in the collection. If hash code is not overridden, then the default implementation in object class will be used by the collection. So this implementation gives different values for different objects. If even if there are equal according to the equals method. The next question is, what is the benefit of generics in collection framework? So the generics allows us to provide the type of object that collection can contain. So if you try to add any element of other type, it throws a compile time error. So this avoids the class cast exception at runtime because we will get error at compilation. So also generics make code clean since we don't know, we don't need to use casting and instance of operator. Okay. I hope you understand why you are generics, why we are using generics. Okay. The next question is what is the difference between array list and linked list? Array list internally uses dynamic array to store the elements. Linked list internally uses doubly linked list to store the elements. Manipulation with array list is slow because it internally uses an array. If any element is removed from the array, all the bits are shifted in memory. Whereas in linked list is manipulation with linked list is fast, faster than array list because it uses a double linked list. So no bit shifting is required in memory. Array list is better for storing and accessing data. Linked list is better for manipulating data. The next question is, what is the difference between comparable and comparator? So many candidates are confusing with these uh, comparable and comparator. I will give a simple and best answer here. Comparable provides a single sorting sequence. In other words, we can sort the collection on the basis of a single element such as ID, name and price, whereas Comparator provides a multiple sorting sequence. In other words, we can sort the collection on the basis of multiple elements such as ID, name, and price, etc. Comparable affects the original class, that is, the actual class is modified. Comparator does not affect the original class, that is, actual class is not modified. Comparable provides compare to method to sort the elements, whereas comparator provides compare method to sort the elements. Comparable is present in the lang package. Comparator is present in the util package. Okay. The next question is, what is difference between hash map and hash table? Hash map and hash table both are used to store the data in a key and value form. Both are using hash technique to store unique keys. Then what are the main differences between them? So let us see one by one. Hash map is non-synchronized. That means it is not thread safe and cannot be shared between many threads without proper synchronization code. Whereas hash table is synchronized. It is a thread safe and can be shared with many threads. Hash map allows one null key and multiple null values. Whereas Hash table does not allow any null key or null values. Hash map is a new class 
it is introduced in jdk 1.2 version hash table is a legacy class that means it is a old class hash map is fast in the performance wise hash table is is slow is a performance wise so that we can make hash map as synchronized by calling this code like this collection start synchronized map and you are passing hash map collection hash table is internally synchronized and cannot be unsynchronized so hash map is traversed by iterator whereas hash table is traversed by enumerator and iterator uh, the next question is how can we create synchronized collection from given collection so in java normally collections are not synchronized which leads to fast performance however in multi threaded situation it can be very useful for collections to be synchronized so the java collections class has several static methods on it that provides the synchronized collection so these are the methods these are the static methods collections dot synchronized collection and you are passing collection see for list we are passing collections dot synchronized list and you are passing list so like this for map for set sorted map everything is same the next question is what is difference between set and map set does not allow duplicates okay and set and set allows single null value at most and set does not maintain any order and what are the classes available in the set interface hash set linked hash set tree set sorted set whereas maps store the elements as key value pair so map does not allow duplicate keys while it allows duplicate values so map does not allow duplicate keys but it allows duplicate values map can have a single null key at most and any number of null values and map does not store the elements in an order okay then what are the classes available in map hash map tree map weak hash map linked hash map identity hash map etc okay i hope you understand the difference between set and map the next question is what is the difference between hash map and tree map the hash map class uses hash table tree map internally uses a red black tree okay hash map uses equals method of the object class to compare keys okay tree map uses compare to method to compare the keys hash map class contains only basic functions like get to put key set etc whereas tree map class it contains functions like tail map first key last key pole first entry pole last entry there are so many functions are available in tree map the hash map should be used when we don't require key value pair in sorted order the tree map should be used when we require key value pair in ascending order okay the next question is why collection does not extend clonable and serializable serializable interfaces collection is the root interface for all the collection classes like array list linked list if collection interface extends the clonable or serializable interfaces then it is mandating all the concrete implementation of this interface to implement clonable and serializable interfaces so to give freedom to concrete implementation classes collection interface don't extend the clonable or serializable interfaces okay the next question is what is the difference between contains key key set and values in the hash map first we will discuss key set method this method returns a set view of all the keys in the map set is backed by the map so changes to be map are reflected to the set and vice versa contains key method it returns true if this map maps one or more keys to the specified value then values method it returns a collection view of the values contained in this map the collection is backed by the map so changes to the map are reflected to the collection and vice versa the next question is why map interface does not extend collection interface because both are incompatible collection has a method add 
and we are passing object. But map cannot have such method because it need key value pair. Map supports key set and value set, but collection classes does not have such view. So both are incompatible. The next question is how to convert array list to array and array to array list. So we can convert an array to array list by using as list method of arrays class. So this arrays class is a utility class. So the example is like this arrays dot as list and we are passing the collection. So like that we can convert an array list to array using two array method of the array list class like this list dot to array and we are passing new string inside. The next question is what will happen if we put a key object in a hash map which is already there well if we put the same key again then it will replace the old mapping because hash map does not allow duplicate keys so that means it will replace the old mapping okay so these are the most common collections entry questions very helpful for java developers as well as automation test engineers so if you want this document please comment in the comment section i will send these 20 entry questions and answers to your mail id okay if you really like this video please share to your friends also and also hit the like button and thank you for watching